Good morning, guys. So it is Monday, July the 2nd. So, there's quite a bit going on today. I'm going to get a massage. My nephew and my and his fiance is paying for me to get a massage today because I've been doing her hair and his hair for free and not charging them, but they help me with the kids, so I wanna even it out and be like, you know, you help me with the kids, so, but they're like, no, we wanna pay you. I'm like, no, I don't want it. So finally, my nephew's like, I'm paying for you to get a massage and you're getting it and you're not saying anything. And then they text me and they said, you have an appointment, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh my God, okay, whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever. So, I guess I'm gonna go get a massage here in a minute. And then, Brett has, excuse me. So Brett has an appointment at two o'clock or one o'clock, and then we gotta take Marco to work. Um, we gotta get grocery shopping done because we have people coming over for the Fourth of July, and then what else? I want to clean up. The, the stuff that I cut off the fence line yesterday. I want to get that cleaned up out of the backyard today. Um, yeah. Okay guys, so my sister Christy moved this weekend. I helped her move this weekend. She moved into apartments closer to us. It's like two minutes from us. So, I'm super excited about that. And oh, she's got a cute little sign out by her door. So yeah. We are excited to have her close to us. She has this cute little sign. It says welcome. And they live on the bottom floor and then there's woods like right there. So nice and peaceful. So I just seen the massage therapist just got massaged. Um, and then, here I'll show you. I also seen the chiropractor was there, why I was there because Jeffrey and Katie keep talking about them and about how amazing they are. And so um, I thought, well, while I'm here, I might as well just see them. So it's called Active Chiropractic. That's what it's called. Good afternoon, everybody. It's Monday afternoon. And I am on my way to the ear doctor because my ear, once again, is clogged up. This happens about the same time every year. The last two years, I know it did last year at this time, and I believe it was a year ago before that. Whenever I get any kind of like cold or allergies or anything, fluid gets trapped in my ear. Last week I got this, I don't know if it's a cold or just allergies I have. I had like a, I started off with a sore throat. My throat was really sore. And then I had some coughing. That was my main symptoms. It was like the sore throat and some coughing. And then just a little bit of congestion, but not really in my nose so much, but just like in my ear, I guess, because then, I think it was last Sunday, and then Wednesday my ear was clogged up. So I made an appointment to the doctor because I figured I needed to hurry up and make one because sometimes it takes a while to get into him, but they got me in Monday pretty quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and see him. I don't know if I should just wait and see if it clears up on its own, which in the past it usually doesn't. I think I've waited for like a month or so before and it, it never unclogs. But in the past, he's done lancing, which is you go in there in the eardrum and you make an incision in my eardrum and it drains the fluid out. But he's done that twice. And I don't know if they want to do that again because I just don't know if it's safe to keep doing that. 
he talked about maybe putting a tube in there eventually. So I don't know, I'm just gonna talk to him and see what he thinks. Because it seems to be happening about the same time every year. That fluid just gets trapped in there. It sounds like I have a, a like a earphone, ear thing in my ear or something. It almost sounds like I'm underwater. So I'm gonna go to there to uh, see him and then um, come back home. I'd like to work, work on finishing the last coat on that table so that we can get the, um, this, the uh, not the stain, the uh, sealant on the top of the table and on the legs. So that'll be done and then we can work on the chairs after that. So I just got out of the doctor. I got lost when I got here. I couldn't find it. He moved from where he was they said I saw him last year here, but I know I didn't. It was another location. So I guess it was two years ago when I first got my ear lanced was when I saw him over here. I have it on the blog. I know I do. I should go back and look and see what it was. But anyway, he used to be... It's the hospital here, the North Kansas City Hospital, but they have another building on the side of it where he used to be, a separate building. So I went there, but he's not there anymore. Then they told me to go through the catwalk to the pavilion, which... I went there, but I didn't realize it was part of the hospital. I thought it was another separate building. So I, they said I need to go back out this way, go in another building, and then I went that building. They said, no, it's not here. So they said, go into the main hospital building, you go down, and it's that way. So yeah, I was late getting there. I didn't know he moved. So anyway, I got in there, and he said, um, there was fluid in there, and he sees some drainage and stuff in my throat because I definitely have some kind of cold or algaes. I don't know what it is. I seem to always get this right in the summer at the same time. It's like a summer cold or algaes or whatever. <clears throat> it's like you get a sore throat, you get coffee and things like that. So whenever I have that, that happens. So I told him that I took Claritin and got a little bit better. So he said I could go ahead and try to do that and then use the, uh, the sinus rinse, you know, like the neti pot where you do the water up the nose and come or comes out the other nose and uh, he said to try that and then to keep doing the Claritin and then also I could try a nose spray he said Flonase but I've tried Flonase multiple times before and it never seems to do anything at all for me so he, he said I could try different brands like uh, Azenex I think or something like that and see if that helps so I'm gonna try that and then he said if that doesn't work then he could lance it again and I asked him if it was okay to lance it again like that multiple times and he said it, it's just a small little incision they make in the eardrum to drain that fluid out he said it's not really that big of a deal if I do it like once a year so I guess if he says it's okay it's okay so I'll know that always works when they do that in this right ear it's always this right ear because he said that it's not as strong in there that ear to, to get that fluid out that's why it always happens in this ear so I go to Colorado two weeks from today, so he said if it's not better by doing all this with the sinus rinse and Claritin and all nose sprays and all that stuff, to make an appointment right before I go to Colorado. So I did that. I have an appointment not this Thursday, but next Thursday, so almost two weeks. And if it's not better by then, I can come in and he can lance it again, and then I'll be cleared up before I go to Colorado. But he said if it works and it's better by then, then I can call and cancel the appointment. So we'll see what happens. But that uh, usually the, all the stuff I try doesn't work and that ear is still clogged up after I try all this stuff, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Maybe this time, third time's a charm, maybe it'll clear out by itself without having to get Lance this time. So now I'm headed home. It's a really beautiful day out. It's only 71 degrees, sunny, sunny 71. There's the big hospital. North Kansas City Hospital. Yeah, it's just a beautiful day. I love summer. Okay, so I just got home. I went, well, I got home after the doctor. Then I went back out to go get some stuff. He said, I got this nasal wash kit. This was cheaper for the generic CVS brand. I had one, but I couldn't find it. So I must, I don't know where it is. I used to have one, but it was gone. I couldn't find it anywhere. Then I got this no spray. This is sinus relief, so I'm gonna see if that works. It was cheaper too. Got some stamps, and then we stopped at the P.O. box. I stopped at the P.O. box because we got some packages that I knew were gonna be there. Got two here from 
Ricky, our subscriber Ricky, he has sent us quite a bit of stuff the last few weeks that I haven't vlogged because we weren't vlogging on the days he sent them. He sent us two boxes of cereal, the Dippin' Dot cereal. He sent some toys for the dog and the cat. What else did he send? He sent more cereal. Uh, yeah, he sent another box of cereal, Cap'n Crunch, the summer cereal. He sent us this puzzle here of cereal. Those, that was really fun. We just did that the other night. And I was thinking, he said, oh, he sent me some wax melts, and then he has sent two more packages a day that I think were supposed to come with the other ones, but they came separately. I think they're more wax melts, he said. They sent two in the silk package. Rock candy from Sensationals. That's a good one. I've had that one. Black cherry from Mainstays. It's funny they put those two little wax melts in that thing. I Open know. that up and smell that, Ralphie. I don't think I've smelled that one before. I can smell it out of the package. Do you need help? Was it black smell cherry like black cherry? cherry? It smells good. Not my kind of thing. <laughs> it's not your kind of thing. Yeah, that smells like black cherry. It's a different it kind of black cherry. Like, it's different. It smells like to me, you know, the strawberry shortcake dolls, how they would smell. Their it faces. Kinda, <laughs> it kind of smells like the strawberry yeah. cake dolls. It'll probably smell different when melty. My sister's Ooh, love just, those. Something just flicked over there. Let me shut that. Oh. Piece of plastic. Mm -hmm. And then one in this box. <laughs> I wonder why they did that. That's weird. And then one little bitty one in this box. This big box. I don't know why they just didn't put these three together with the other ones. I think they would have fit in there. Maybe they were out and they had to ship them separately. Warm apple pie wax cubes. I think I've smelled that one before. It's just like an apple cinnamon scent. No, that's more like it. <laughs> that's your kind of thing, huh? The apple cinnamon. Not so much black cherry. Yeah, that one smells good. That one actually, believe it or not, why does that one smell like cherry to me? It does smell like cherry, that's what I thought. It has kind of a cherry scent. That's I smell. weird. It smells good though. So. It smells like no dang cherry. Smell like apple to you. Next we have a box from Brian, our friend Brian, our subscriber. He sent us a box and he has a surprise in here that he said he wanted to see my reaction to the surprise. He, we messaged back and forth through Snapchat quite a bit. He's always let me know what he's melting and stuff for the day. We talk about candles and everything. So he sent us some stuff and there's some things he wants to see how I am. Cause I don't know what's in here. He wants to see my reaction. Okay, so we're gonna open the box here. Well, we already opened it. I opened it, but I haven't looked in it yet really. So he has these fusion wax melts that he uh, sends me. They're really good. And he says he gets some, I think he gets these at Myers. he said, but we don't have a Myers here. So I've never seen these at any of our stores. This one's Pear Champagne Blossom. Smell this. Mm, that smells good. Citrus Blush. Mm, that's citrusy. Mm. It is. Um, almond brandy pudding. That smells good. Watermelon mojito. Mm. Mm. Really good. I like that one. Lemoncello popsicle. Ooh, that's a really good lemon scent. Burn. This is a green scent, probably. Mmm. I like that one. That's a really good green scent. I love green scents. I like that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thai lemongrass mint. I've had a Thai lemongrass mint in something else before. That's good. That's it's a not little, a fusion. Though. That's a little light. Oh, that's a that's sensational. It's a different packaging than like the Walmart sensationals. That smells good. I think it would be stronger when burning. Fresh garden. 
That's nice. I like a smell of a garden. Yeah. Exotic sandalwood. <laughs> mm, I like that one. Mm. Uh. Oh. Coconut spice. <laughs> mm, that is and everything nice. Spicy. Mango tango. Mm. Mango tango in. Oh, uh, Dad, it's crap. Mango y. Why does that remind me of dog shampoo? <laughs> this reminds me of the dog shampoo we've had before. And it's. Does that. Something about that reminds me of dog, uh, dog shampoo. Does that remind you of that? Or is it just me? Not really. There's it a dog shampoo like... we've used on one of our, our dogs that it reminds me of. It doesn't really smell fruity though. It doesn't smell like mango. It does, but it reminds me of the dog shampoo. I don't know why. Summer sunset. I love sunset and summer snow. Mm, that's, that's good. <laughs> Citrus. We'll seeing some sunset on the mountain. We're not going to the mountains. Citrus sunrise. When we go to Colorado. Well, yeah, but not yeah, in the citrusy. Citrusy. Mm, that smells good. That smells good. Okay, now we have oh, some hand soaps. Uh oh. The thing came off. Yay. And soap. It's Seal Bigelow Sea Salt Mimosa. We were just talking about these and I said I've never tried these kinds, so awesome that you sent me some. I've never had the Seal Bigelow hand soaps from Bath and Body Works. It keeps coming off. That smells good. Then we have beer. No. Beer. This is what he was, I think. Yeah. Sensational's okay. Lemon and Grapefruit Energizing Foaming Hand Soap. I've never seen Sensational's Hand Soap. I didn't even know they made Sensational's Hand Soap. That's awesome. It's Foaming Hand Soap. I like Foaming Hand Soap. Oh, what, where did you get this, Brian? I never knew they even made Hand Soap from Sensational's. He had me pick, he told me to pick Lemon and Grapefruit or... Uh, Orange is something is the other one you want to me pick. Let's see. Mm, that smells good. It smells like hand soap. <laughs> but it's lemongrass mm, and grapefruit. Yeah, it smells like lemon. Yeah, it, it does. Good. But also, I'm excited to see how that is. I like it's pretty big. Pretty big bottle. Now we have a candle. It is Henry Bendel. Velvet. Velvet Ode. O U D Ode, I think is how you say that. This is elegant, enchanting, and exotic. Velvet Ode is a spicy scent that provides warmth and sweetness. A woody blend of clove, rose, and raspberry mixed with sandalwood to add to the passionate blend of aromas. Enjoy a moment of solitude as the soft scent fills your home. Isn't that what we have in the bathroom now? Yeah, we have the uh the uh not the cashmere, but the uh I forget which one it is. It's good though. It's not the camel, but it's the Yeah, I smell the rose. I can smell it right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can smell it mm -hmm. when you're all right there. Yeah. It is a soft rose. What was the uh rose and yeah, uh the hard Wrong one. Sp it says spicy. Mm, kind, not real spicy though. It's a clove and rose and raspberry and sandalwood. Yeah, I definitely get that sandalwood and kind of rose mixed in there. Maybe just a light spice, but it's really good. Then we have a candle here, but I don't know what it is. This one's taped up really good. Else in there. And my favorite thing to scissors. pop is bubble wrap, and they have bubble wrap. American Home Yankee by Yankee Candle Banana Walnut Bread. Yum. This is a good one. Just smells like banana mm. bread. Banana walnut bread. It does. You usually can't smell a candle. You have to smell the lid. It smells stronger than the lid. Thank you. 
I've had pretty good luck with my the American Home ones from Walmart. I've tried, they've usually been pretty strong. So we'll see how that one does. Then we have uh, Scent Sticks. They are nutmeg and oud wood. Fragrance paper sticks. So you can't So eat I don't those? know if you can smell them. No, you don't. It says try me here. Yeah, I can't really smell it on the try me. I don't want to open them up because they'll probably use their, lose their fragrance. We'll have to put them in something. You can put them um, probably just in any little thing. A little holder. Uh, you know. Those oil ones. Yeah. Holders. Or oil holder things. A little you put the sticks in. So awesome. Thank you. Yeah, I don't, you have to open them, but I don't want to open them because we'll lose the fragrance before we use them. So thank you, Brian. Appreciate awesome. that. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you again very for all much. this. And the soaps too, because we're almost out of we're out of hand soaps. Thank you again. Thanks, Brian. And thanks, Ricky. Thank you. Thank y'all. So we're making dinner. Dinner just finished up. We're having these Casey strip steaks with a marinade. Do you still have the marinade package? I threw it away out there. It's a Jack. Daniels, wasn't it? I can't remember. Bruh. Mmm. It's really good. Is These it, were on sale, by the way. It was a Jack Daniels glaze, I believe, but I don't remember what it was called. It's actually not Jack Daniels. Well, it might be. I don't know if it loses uh, the alcohol when cooked or whatever, but it's probably just a flavoring. I'm not for sure. Jack Daniels. Hold on. Mesquite. Jack Daniels. Marinade in a bag. Smoky mesquite. Liquid marinade. Does it actually have Jack Daniels in there? Bruh. Well, I thought alcohol gets killed when you cook stuff, so. It does, so. I thought there might be just a little bit in there. Let's see. Or is it just have yes, that? Yes, it does, actually. I thought, so. I thought, why would it be called that if it didn't have actually a little Jack bit of Jack Daniels? Jack Daniels Tennessee Whiskey Flavoring. Flavoring. Hmm. Thought so. So yeah, have that, it smells delicious. And then we were just having a, we're just having baked potato with it. And I think we have some leftover green beans in the refrigerator. We might just put some of those on our plate. All right guys, so we're getting ready to go to bed and I completely forgot to tell you earlier today that I am going back to Days this coming Saturday. Finally, it's official. I'm going back. I got my letter from Implant Support at work this past Saturday saying that I will report to Days this coming Saturday, which is July 7th. So, yes. Finally, I get to go back. I get to go back. Uh, let's see. I'll be going in at 6 a.m. to 2.30 p.m which is what I was working before. And then my days off are gonna be Wednesday and Thursday. I was hoping for like Monday, Tuesday, or Tuesday and Wednesday off because Brad's off Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. So now we don't have any days off together, but he's possibly gonna to try to work maybe like Monday instead of Wednesday. So then maybe he could have Sunday, Tuesday, and Wednesday off, and then we could have Wednesday off together. We'll figure out something. But I'm just glad that I get to go back today so I'll take whatever days off I can get as long as I'm working days because it'll be so much easier now uh, with our schedules and Bracken State work later and he doesn't have to worry about getting route from daycare and school and stuff when school starts so yes happy about that hopefully that will make things a lot more easier for us good afternoon everybody it's Tuesday afternoon June July not June it's July now July Third. So we just left Marco's therapist and now we are a step over here at Bath and Body Works that have hand soaps and stuff for three dollars and there's a 10 out 30 coupon which is a better deal than the 10 out 40 coupon they had out for the semi-annual sales so that's usually when I get them because you can get 10 hand soaps for twenty dollars and they're two dollars each so. We left his therapist but Brett and I talked to her. It wasn't, it wasn't Marco, it was for us. 
talk with for us. It was basically for us, so to help she us. Said, too. She said she could do that rather than us go find a different therapist just to talk to about stuff. So, so yeah, we're gonna go back to Body Works here, and then um, I have been getting just a little soft soaps at Walmart to try to save money, but. Those are like half the size of Bath and Body Works candles, and they go straight here. Yes. And uh, you can go forward. If you buy the bigger size of soft soap that are the same size as Bath and Body Works, it's like a dollar ninety four. So when these are on sale for like for two dollars, so that's about the same. So then we're gonna go to the store later. When we get back home. Just got here. I'm gonna go get my hand soaps. So they had the new summer candles out, this new Polaroid collection. Had the orange cream soda. That one smells pretty good. I think that's a repackage of that other, uh, I forget what the orange one it was repackage of. Waffle cone, it's like berry waffle cone. It smells good, I love it. Pool party, it's pretty good. That's pretty nice. They got Endless Weekend. Can we get this? And then they have cherry snow cone. I really like that. That's a nice cherry. And I get the lime in there too. It's really good. And I have boardwalk, which is like just summer boardwalk. Okay, so I smelled up toasted s'mores. A lot of people say this is pretty much cinnamon pretzel twist. And I agree. It smells just like it. It's a tad sweeter though. It's a tad sweeter. They have campfire donut. Mm, I love that one. Wildflower meadow. That smells nice. It's florally. So got out of Bath and Body Works, <clears throat> and I got my hand soap. I got ten hand soaps. I'll probably do a haul on them. Maybe. Since a lot of them are new. I did get some of them are actually some fall. They have some fall hand soaps out already. It's kind of early for fall soaps, but I went ahead and bought some anyway. Just because they smell good. We're stopping to eat lunch because we have no food at home hardly for lunch before we go to the store. But it's like 10 after 1, so we need to have some lunch. We're going to try this mod pizza super fast, it says. I think Brad has ate here before and the boys, but I haven't tried it, so I'm gonna try it out and see how it is. They said it was good. So we got our pizzas. I got a, uh, I forget the name of it, but it has garlic, it has a white sauce, and some kind of cheese, and onions, tomatoes. Barbecue. There's basil or something on there. Then we got all got Caesar salads. Where I got, he made his own. Onions. Barbecue, onions, jalapenos, bacon, and hamburger. And onions. I got one too. Rafa right, got a Caesar salad and he got. Move. Let me see your pizza. Uh, there's tomatoes on there and cheese and what else? Bread sauce. Sausage. What? Sausage. Yeah. I got a salad too and a. Uh, I got barbecue. Barbecue cheese, sauce. Chicken, jalapenos, and olives. Barbecue sauce. Olives, jalapenos, chicken, and cheese. That looks pretty good. Minus jalapenos, I can't eat jalapenos. So we got a Japanese beetle bag to because they're killing my tree in the front. And we just put this out there and they're like, I mean swarming this thing within seconds. So this traps them so they um, can't get out. 
they can't get out and then it gets rid of them. Yeah, it's crazy. Like they just started going crazy when we put it out here. They're everywhere. Like they were hitting Marco and I and everything, swarming, coming to it. I should just put them in there. So look at all these things. They're like flying everywhere. And the bag is like a bunch in the bag already. God, they're annoying. Okay, so we went and went to Walmart and then came home and the beetle bag was totally full. And so we had to dump it so we can have more room. And this is... Show it, Marco. These are all the beetles and that spilled were a lot. in that bag. And I dropped the bag and spilled a bunch out. So, yeah. But he got a lot, though. And so they tell you to just get rid of them, dispose of them. So, yeah, that's all the beetles in there. It's crazy. And then it's, like, filling up again already. There's so many, it's horrible. All right, guys. We're going to end the vlog. It's time to go to bed. Got to get up tomorrow for 4th of July festivities. So anyway, we're gonna go to bed because we gotta get up and uh... Have a fun day tomorrow. Yeah. Have a good day. Get ready for people to come over. They come over around like uh, I would say about... T not 10 ish, cause dad has a client. 10? I get him on that early. 12 one. or 1 maybe. Yeah, 12 or 1. I usually get up around 8, 9, so I have... Dad said we'll wake him up at 10. Not this time, my other guy. All right, so thanks for watching. Please comment, thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you all in the next vlog. Bye. Good night. Good night, have a great day tomorrow.